Feudum is a huge, complex game where you are moving these dice-shaped pawns around, which are just absolutely awesome. And the side that you're on indicates what kind of character that is. And this is important for several reasons. Firstly, they're going to give you potentially special bonuses for actions you do, but they're also going to help you to control these guilds, which is what these are representing here, who has control of them. And this is important because a big part of this game and what makes it so interesting and so absolutely fantastic is these guilds. They're what really make the game. Okay, you've got the board, you've got the control going on on the board, but yeah, guilds. It's all about the guilds. You see, the way the game works is you're going to have your deck of action cards and you're going to pick four of these to use and they're going to give you an action. Now, one of them will allow you to interact with the guilds. One of them will allow you to do an other action twice. So you're kind of probably going to use those a lot because as I say, the guilds are so important to victory. They're the big major way to get victory points in this. Although you can just travel around, placing out influence and taking over the landscape as well. That's, that's perfectly valid. And taking over landscape will help you gain influence with the guilds. So these are all perfectly valid options. So you're going to pick your four cards and then you're going to take it in turns to choose one of your four cards that you've chosen for the round to use and do the action. And when you interact with the guilds, when you do that action, you can kind of push or pull depending on where you're controlling and what guild you're then able to influence. And the fact that one guild flows over to the next and over to the next, and you have like from one side of the board to the other side of the board, it's just mind blowing. If you want a game that will melt your brain, trying to just keep up with everything that's going on, being able to follow it and plan, right, well, if I do this, then this can happen, etc. This is an absolute no brainer for you. If you want a light, simple game that's easy to follow and easy to play, this is not going to be the game for you. This game is absolutely fantastic. It has so much going on, but it has so much going on that it can be very difficult to follow and it's not going to be for light gamers. Now, with regards to the components, as I've already said, these pawns are lovely. You've got these lovely monster pieces that are just fantastic, except for this guy doesn't really quite stand up. He falls over a bit, but the serpent, absolutely lovely. And yeah, there's just so much going on because you've then also got ways you move. You can like get vehicles, which you kind of place out and move along different things. And you can go by sea or by road or by air. And then you need to go a route that doesn't use that route. So you have to leave your vehicle. And then someone else comes along and steals it. it. Yeah, there's just so much going on. It feels so thematic as well with the guilds and the pushing and the pulling because you are a lord, a feudal lord. and You're trying to take over these feudums and be the queen's best. It is, yeah, just absolutely unique, interesting artwork, very good, clear, I would say anyway, um, graphic design, you know, with telling you what the cards do. Once you've played it a few times, you've gotten a bit used to what these things are, you can really quite easily look at a new thing and kind of go, okay, yeah, so that means this. And on top of all of this, you have this lovely velvety bag here that you'll open up and dig your hand in and pull cubes out. Now, you won't necessarily do this very often, but this is going to be resources. There's also resources in this? Oh my God, there's so much in this. Ah, oh, so much, but it is absolutely fantastic. And best of all, there are kitties on the player aids. Now, this just shows you how complex this game is. The player aid is double-sided. You've got one, tells you the round, and then all the different cards. And then you've got the guilds and the scoring. So much going on. But yeah, an amazing game. Unfortunately, not one I'm going to be keeping. Because as I said, this is for people who want a heavy, complex game. And this is just beyond me. I am not smart enough 
for this game. I hope you are and I hope you've enjoyed this video.